Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is just going to be an energy check-in for you guys, Cancer. Um, if you are Gemini Cancer Cuss, check those out. If you have a lot of Gemini in your, your, in your chart, definitely check that out, guys. I've been doing quite a few readings, um, so I'm a little tired tongue, so just bear with me. If this doesn't resonate with you guys, it's okay. Um, but I love all your support, Cancers. Give me a thumbs up if something does resonate with you. You can comment below. If you do not want to share your story, you don't have to. But giving me a thumbs up just lets me know you appreciate me coming on and sharing the messages that I've been guided to share with you. So we're going to check the past, the present, and the potential outcome. And then we're going to get some guidance in regards to it. We had the eclipse on April the 19th, so you may have some, lost something in your life. Something could have been taken away or added to your life. Either way, it may not have happened. Anything have happened, you know, but just something to keep in mind because my energy has definitely been towards that lately. I know in my life there was an eclipse in my life, but, um, you know. Hey, we all on different times and journeys. But also, you know, it's whatever you, you, you're guided. When you're guided to this reading, oh my goodness, when you're guided to this reading, I'm hearing, I'm hearing cancer, slow down. I'm hearing slow down. You're moving too fast. So maybe something changed in your life and I'm hearing slow down. You're moving too fast. I'm also hearing... Like somebody's support, your support is there. Whether it's your guidance, your um, your family, your ancestors passed on loved ones, support is there. Okay. And I guess they here too. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Y'all welcome. Long as it's good energies and we here to help cancer. Okay. Let's see. In the past, Cancer, what have you been dealing with? You got the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Justice card. <sighs> Crossing the Ten of Swords is a death card. There is completely an ending. This is a Cancers that I'm talking to. Something was eclipsed out of your life or something came in. I don't know which way it went. But this is something that you had been studying and looking at and you asked for clarity in the situation. You have the Ten of Swords here. This was a disappointment. It was the end to something. You didn't want to, you probably didn't want it to end, but the universe came in and said, we, we, we have to deaden this. We have to remove this energy. It rather, it has to be rebirthed now. The death card does mean ending, but it also means trans transformation. So, this ending could have led to a transformation in the past with you. This could have been a situation. But with this page of swords here, there was something you were studying and looking at, and it had to do with the ending, a deception, a lies, a deceiving. Uh, it could have been third party, but it was like more than enough. And you needed enough information and what happened justice. All right. So it had to come in for you to see exactly what it is that needed to transform in this situation. And that is in the past energy. So we're going to clarify in your present energy. You have the two of wands. You have the ten of wands and you have the strength card. This took a lot for you to understand something was very burdensome. That there was a choice needed to be made in the situation for things to change. In this present moment, you understanding how burdensome a situation may have been or how strong you had to be or will be to move forward. Because with this two of wands and this ten of wands and this strength card, like you everything to move forward and realize that you're going to get past this and when you get past it like you have the strength you may have to hold yourself back or you've been working on holding yourself back because maybe you've been very burdensome with with things and wands represents passion direction um 
and maybe you've been so passionate about a situation and you in the past may have felt you couldn't make a decision. But in the present moment with this being removed, you may even still see or, or what the situation is that was very burdensome, whether it was something part of you or it was part of a situation. But with the two of ones, this decision had to be made a new beginning, a new light, a new energy, a new feel to it. You needed your strength back. You needed to stand up and know that whatever this was, you can get past it. And I feel that's what you're working on right now, making a choice to get past burdens. And it's taking a lot out of you in the present moment to do it. A potential outcome. You have the four cups, you have the sun cards, and you have the seven of pentacles. Listen here. Cancer and the fool under the body, you got to go for it. Like the universe got you. This, your potential outcome is beautiful. Four of ones, this is your the stability. This is your family. This is happy, laughter, joy, the sun card, and the seven of pentacles. This is something that you deserve and you must work on it. You must understand you deserve it. The seven of pentacles definitely represent perhaps you putting in and be like, well, we're afraid. Like, will I see anything in this? Will this actually grow? Yes. This is time to invest in your own happiness and stability, right? And maybe it start off small, but the universe is telling you, we got your back. At the end of the day, the outcome is clarity and happiness and definitely how to do it. This may be a situation where maybe you wanted to buy a house, right? If something was eclipsed, if it was a relationship or someone, you wanted to buy a house, you wanted to be happy, cancer. And the seven of pentacles, you're like, but I don't know how to start. I don't know if I should invest or if this is going to work out. And the universe is telling you it's going to work out. You got to what? Be strong. And that's what they need. The seven of pentacles, this is like looking at it and maybe you don't see everything right now. But we finna clarify, right? But what they want you to do is to walk out on faith. Whatever is happening in your life, you need to do it with faith. You need to be like, well, I don't care if I don't have anything at this point in time. Maybe you had to walk away from someone. Maybe you had to leave something behind. And you had to take what you got and just keep going. Then you, It's okay. Now, this definitely could have been a situation in the past that got you to where you are now. And in the present moment, making that choice to drop the burdens and have and use that inner strength to get past it is what's going to get you here because the potential outcome is beautiful when you believe and know within yourself that you got this. Okay, let's clarify. Whew, let's clarify, Cancer, because this is beautiful. And I'm just saying, Cancer, you got to check out Gemini's and the Cuspers. I would go through all of them just to see what... It is maybe there. Um, I think Cuspers had too little too late. Um, but it wasn't too little too late for Cusper. It was whoever or whatever situation that was being dealt with. Okay. Two of Wands, again, this is a choice. Cancer, this is a choice. It's a choice to be happy. I'm hearing this is a choice to build. This is a choice to be happy. You, you have to make the choice. Nobody can make it for you. Cancer, look. Queen of Cups, your heart, your emotions. Where is it? Is you happy right now? Is your emotions happy? Are you truly happy? Because the universe moves something so that you could get your heart's desire. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. A choice not to deal with the conflict. Communicate about it in the past. This Ten of Swords was a situation that you had to make a choice for. That, that you felt disappointed in. You felt you was in competition with a situation. And a movement had to happen. I feel like this eight of ones was the universe coming in, giving you the clarity or the understanding of something that you wasn't aware of that was eclipsed out of your life. Clarifying the page of wands is the four cups, disappointment, 
feeling like you couldn't move forward in a situation. And then the King of Cups, which I feel emotionally, whoever you was dealing with was very disappointing because they know that they were stuck or keeping you stuck or they couldn't offer you or be the king that they wanted because there was things they had to look at in their life that they had to end because you have the death card crossing that. And you seen that. You seen maybe you had love for this person, but you was very disappointed in being stuck and dealing with this situation that you was emotionally attached to. You may have seen them as your king of cups male or female you may have even seen within yourself i'm very disappointed in this relationship i feel stuck in this relationship uh and i have i'm not being my true authentic self i can't share my emotions and you've seen that the universe seen you holding back who you really were who are you the king of cups a stable right you're not as much as the queen of cups right? Because you look at things a little different with logically, right? It's almost like the, 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 the king of swords, right? The king of swords looks at it logically. You look at it logically from the heart porn space that my heart stuck. I want to open up. I want to give, right? Um, and you just realize that whatever was in these cups or whatever cups were offered, there may have been some cups in the past that you may have been reminiscing on. That, But whatever it is, you looked at it and seen it far for what it was, exactly for what it was. The universe also seen it. And the universe didn't want you like this anymore. So they had no other choice but to remove this out of your life to end it or transform it. There definitely could be a transformation here also. This transformation was to get you unstuck. Stop being disappointed within yourself. Stop being disappointed in the way you wanted someone. To. And I'm also hearing, yeah, you looked at it. Maybe you, this is what you wanted. I, uh, you know, you wanted this King of Cups, but yeah, you, it, it wasn't your King of Cups. It wasn't someone you can emotionally trust and believe in because you were watching them and studying them all the time, but you didn't have any movement. So justice came in and whatever that justice was for you, Cancer. Clarifying justice in the past is a star card. The four of swords, a lot of healing, a lot of healing that will lead you to your own loving, caring soul within yourself. This situation could have really hurt you. You've been very disappointed. Somebody disappointed you like crazy. Someone, and it could have been several relationships that this has come up in several times. Uh, or this person just kept stabbing. <laughs> you know, they just, they just never, you know, they just, they just kept going because they were trying to win at all costs. But every time it was another dagger in the back, another loss. Another disappointment, another, and that's what I hear. Just another disappointment after another disappointment. And I feel right here with the five of somebody was truly trying to win at all costs for somebody not to make a decision to walk away from this situation. But the clarity came in and the universe like, no, I need movement. We, we, we can't continue to play this game anymore. Cancer needs to move on. Cancer needs to focus and see that cancer is not happy in this situation. Now y'all can interchange this in energy however you want cancer, but just know that. So with, with the star card, the four of swords and the nine of cups, this is healing. This is going in, doing the work cancer, right? Justice, this is what the universe wanted you to start back loving you and search soul searching, knowing that you have so much inside of you and you could be in happy bliss. And if you have to be by yourself, <laughs> you may have asked to be by yourself. You may have, you know, you're working on healing. I'm feeling this is a person working on healing that if something has changed or been eclipsed out of your life, you are working on your own healing, wish fulfillment, right? It's not easy, but you're doing it. You're releasing it. You're understanding that you need to spend time loving and caring on yourself emotionally. In the present moment, the two of wands, which is the devil, the Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands been popping up all night. Okay, 
and the six of swords. Yes, the clarifying the two of ones. This is looking out there and seeing it's like I have to leave some behind. And what is it that you felt you need to leave behind? The devil, the knight of wands, so that you can move on to karma water. Something that was a t okay. You had to leave something that you felt very much connected to. You may have been emotionally connected. You may have had a fiery sexual relationship with this person. This person energy made you feel good when it came in. But when that energy was out, you wasn't even sure what the hell was going on with it. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing hell and devil. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I'm just sorry. This is what I'm hearing. You wanted to move on to calmer waters. You know, you wanted to move in a, a more stable uh, place with this person. But this person's energy could have been also a karmic connected to this person where they were given to two. Where they would come in with you and then leave out with the other. Or they were doing things behind your back with their karmic that you were not aware of. Okay? And that's why the universe came in because there was a choice needed to be made, the two of wands. And that was to move on from this because it it no longer served you, okay? This was toxic. It had been codependency. Uh, somebody could have been narcissistic, set in their ways. They could have just, yeah, and they could have been sexually driven. Like, really no emotions. They just needed what they needed when they needed it, okay? And maybe that's what... That door was open for, okay, Cancer. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying there's a cause there's a situation that is sexually connected, and it had to be released to move on for a new beginning. And what is that? That's that ten of wands. Let's see why this ten of wands is here. Clarifying in the present, strength card, the higher friend. You could be married to this person. Uh, the strength very is. The other thing with this Ten of Wands, clarifying the Ten of Wands is a strength card, the Hierophant, and the Queen and the King of if I can't get it together, the Knight of Pentacles. This is a situation that was moving really still slow. This could have been a commitment that was going in for a commitment, but the strength card and the ten of wands, it was very burdensome. This is this is not necessary to go in for this commitment because it was it's like I'm hearing the universe say it. You know, that they save you. What is it? What is the, the, the y'all know the saying, y'all can put it down. <sighs> Rejection is protection. This person might even rejected you. They were so busy dealing with a karmic or in and out energy that they lost focus too. And that rejection, and uh, they became very burdensome of trying to hold, I feel this tent of ones, they became very burdensome because they were trying to hold down Two situations. If you take that ten of ten of ones and put it in half, it's five and five. This situation left out in cold. Then this situation left out in cold. So they just like running back and forth with a situation, and it took a lot of strength for you to understand that this was not going to move to a higher commitment. It was moving too slow. It wasn't meant to be. Okay, this person that probably I'm feeling this person don't even understand what a higher commitment is. This ain't for all, but in the present moment. This person had no strength to be able to move forward and offer a higher commitment because for one, they probably had a lot of burdens and they needed to complete that and they couldn't do it because they got so much karmic or toxic energy or sexual energies or codependencies or something they missing for their own self-love, right? Or healing that, that that's how they show their emotions sexually. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. Let's move on. Uh, the present moment. You're dealing with strength card. Clarifying is the ace of, I'm telling you, this person, literally, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you, this person just wants you for sex. They don't want you for nothing else. No, I'm going to say that. <laughs> that that's, you could be married or working with this person. They just want you to, at the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm hearing, you don't even have to really be with me, but I would like to come over. Yeah, this this person. And they would like for you to think that, you know, that they are the king of wands. And the king of wands knows what they want and goes after of it. And they want to continue to be collaborate with you. And the only reason they do is because of that ace of wands. The, the, this, this, this is why the ace of wands. They want to continue to have a, they cake and eat it too. 
Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles, they definitely could be dealing with someone else. They could be married in a committal relationship. I don't know. Or at the end of the day, they very selfish. And the King of Wands also knows what they want to go after. But also knows how to manipulate you too and tell you what it is you need to hear to make you believe that they got so much to offer. But yet, they still putting this down. Okay, they still bringing it. They still, that that's all they care, that they able to do something with that. All right, just move, in, move on. I don't know who you're dealing with, Cancer, and it's not for all of you, and if not, that's fine. I hope you're not. Okay, to the present, the universe, please take Cancer up out of this. Work, work with us. You work with this universe. The four ones, clarifying, amen, amen, clarifying the four ones, clarifying the, okay, listen. Yes, okay, emotionally, that's because they had you attached, okay? Yes, there is a three of swords here, clarifying this, emotional loss. But baby, that emotional loss, when you take that leap of faith, leads you to a real ten of pentacles. Uh, when you realize, you know what, I'm out of here. And take your little overnight bag that you keep using running over there or kick they little overnight bag out. Either way you do it, yeah, it's going to break your heart. But what do you have sitting in the middle of the sun car? The clarity. First of all, understanding that you you ain't giving it to them no more. Don't give it to them no more, guys. <laughs> Okay, listen, because there's a ten of pentacles. Soon as you realize, okay, I understand that's an emotional loss to move on. I think there's healing coming because clarifying the four ones. You may have to kick them out the house. Four ones is stability. That's a home. It's a family. Yeah, you may have a, a have to take a leap of faith to leave a whole family behind, and it's an emotional loss to you. And but the universe says, as soon as you do that, you happy all over again. You gonna be you gonna be all right. That's what I heard. You gonna be all right, okay? You gonna get your ten of pentacles again. Your heart will heal. You will continue to be stable. You ain't falling down, okay? But you got to choose you and leave that one. I mean, you gonna get another one, like? <laughs> I mean, if that's the case. yeah. When I say one, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a male. It could be a female, you know, some of them just bad, all right? So, or it could be two males, too. I don't care, whatever your preference is, okay? What I'm saying is it ain't the only one that can passion up and work a situation up, okay? It can be worked up in all kind of ways, okay? Sure, you don't work it up yourself if you need? No, okay, I can't, Spirit, we ain't going there. No, we ain't. Why am I shuffling, okay? I already started shuffling. <sighs> clarifying the sun card and the potential outcome and you got the <laughs> you got the five of pentacles the three of wands and the temperance y'all know i'm struggling because i ain't got my glasses on and something about this light just sometimes messes with my eyes anyway the five of pentacles you know when you're gonna become happy when you realize you're going to leave this out in the cold and wait for the right thing to come in for you because then there's tempers, divine timing. That's when you realize it's clarifying the sun, the clarity. You get the clarity that you this no longer serves you. You're going to leave this situation out of the cold, turn your back to it. Hopefully they leave you out in the cold. They'll be doing you justice uh, because, you know, the re rejection is protection. Okay, so then you have the two of ones. Your ship's coming in. Patience, patience, my dear. I would always be happy for the clarity and the happiness that you're about to encounter that the universe has for you because temperance here, look, putting it together, what in fire it might be a <laughs> look. This is the water putting that fire out. That's what it's like. It's gonna take a minute to heal you, you know, from that fire. We're gonna put the fire out, right? But this is the right mix. Not just cancer, you the water, right? And then they the fire. And for some reason, I don't understand how they, but anyway, the point is the universe is putting the right mix together for you, but you're going to have to leave something behind. And then don't feel like you're never going to find the right mix again. That's what I'm also hearing. Like, but what if I don't find the right mix or I don't want to be by myself or I don't want to feel left out in the cold. I felt that before. I get it. But you got to trust. Like, 
You got to trust. Seven of Pentacles, the World card, the Queen of Pentacles. This is ending a cycle. Queen of Pentacles, that's independent on your own. And you know why? Because the clarity, the moon card represents secret, self-consciously. Self-consciously, you already know you're a hero. You know how independent you could you been when when did you stop taking care of yourself? When? When did you not survive? When did you not make it out, Cancer? Whatever this situation that has come your way, you was doing great before it got there. And that's the secret the universe wants you to know. Like, you've ended so many cycles before, landed on your feet, and you've forgotten that. Is that it? You're forgetting who you are, that you are the queen of pentacles, male or female, it doesn't matter. You have the ability to grow and nourish and not only yourself, but others. That's you. That's who you are. You could be with anybody. You could nourish any situation. But the universe is saying now they want you to put your energy and time in something that truly you should be invested in, not something you shouldn't be invested in that you don't see any growth in. Okay, Cancer, you're the most beautiful, loving, caring sign I know. Okay, and I'm not saying that because I'm a Gemini Cancer, because because sometimes people don't feel that way about me. I don't care though. That's that Gemini part. But anyway, the point is that cycle has to end for you to find you, and that's the clarity that needed to come in, and the universe needed you to recognize how loving and caring you. They say, well, I put all my trust and honor and emotions and building over here cancer you're everyone wants to be loved and cancer can love somebody they will beat a dead horse to the dead horse wake up and say stop beating me <laughs> you know what i'm saying that so you are capable of love your your energy re 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 it reflects love people come around you and they feel your emotion they feel how you care they feel how you show up you will show up right when it comes to someone needing you you will put them first so that means you're like you can have any relationship male female whatever it is you can have it but i just feel that there's someone here that knows your worth, enjoys your company, but has no intention of really, truly, you know, being emotionally attached to you in that way. I don't know, but that's what I got. Okay, this may not resonate with you i don't even know what i'm going to call this all i know that there is a there is truly something in the past that came to an end that was not emotionally fulfilling and with that the universe is telling you we get it and we see you've put in and things are changing we're ending that cycle and we need you to get back to center and go back to self and know yourself and know that love is there. And yes, cancer, I can't help but heal. You may have to heal after losing a foundation or commitment or relationship or something that you built right under the four ones, the stability of home. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe you had to uh, divorce or separation or long-term relationship. I don't know. But the universe is saying, yes, there's an emotional loss, but there is a gain. And that gain is your happiness. And you, you got to be patient because it's coming. And they're putting the right mix together for you. And this is a potential outcome. If you follow the guidance. And what messages is we have here for Cancer Spirit? Y'all, how long is y'all reading? I try to do short reads it anyway. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Messages for cancer spirit. That's right away. I regret my poor choices. Cancer. It, it, the universe is saying, I feel this is the person. 
they this running back and forth, whatever they chose, they regret not choosing you. You may still be kind of hurt and regret some choices you've made in the past, and maybe you feel several choices you've made, you know, you regret them. But the universe is telling you there's a transformation going on here. And you didn't do nothing wrong but love someone or try to show up for them. And somebody tried to either get over on you or use your emotion in a manipulative way. Or they know you was attached to them and they knew you were just hanging there. Yeah, divine don't like that. That ain't right. You know? I was wrong and I am sorry. And they probably finna come in saying they wrong and they sorry and they ain't gonna want you to leave. That you, everybody got free will, Cancer. And I'm just getting you these closing messages. But somebody gonna come in. I was wrong and I'm sorry. It's gonna be up to you, Cancer. Something happened. Now, it's up to you now. The divine didn't told you. I know this isn't fair. I, I can't make this up. I, I, you know what? I, I, I truly can't. They know they wasn't fair to you. They know they wasn't showing up in the right energy. They, okay. I am with your ancestors. I am with, with our ancestors. Somebody trying to heal and pray and go in. Or the, 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 this is your ancestors or some passed on loved ones telling you, like, they finna protect this situation. They, if you keep it up, they don't take control of it. I projected my unhappiness on you. Yeah. And they run around with the wine everywhere. And, and when they get all frustrated with whatever they out there doing, they come in. Yeah, okay. I did not expect to leave. And somebody did leave. Somebody left, somebody walked away. They projected their unhappiness on you. And that was it. That's it. That's the end of the story. That is the end of this story. Okay? So you have all the tools. What you going to do with it, Cancer? Okay? But rejection is protection. Make that choice, Cancer. Love and light. I'll see you on your next reading, Cancer. Love and light. Bye.